I've not broken it. So what I've done is I've dried everything out on a radiator here at the centre. Now I'm going to have to replace the filter even though it's nice and dry. It has got a bit of a pink tinge to it. But the PTFE filter, perfect. And then the bowl's all nicely dried out and the probe too. So I can put them together in the correct way, remembering the pointy bit goes to the top. And there we go. But I've got even more good news because I've got a bit of an exclusive for you. Now, because TPI are always thinking about engineers constantly, they're coming up with a new idea for the filter bowl itself to stop you engineers damaging your analyzer and to make it easier for you to clean, even though you can't get any easier than this. But because they've had a few problems, they've decided to slightly modify a perfect design. Now I'm going to show you some exclusive pictures now which Nigel Partridge has sent me so we can get in trouble for releasing it. <laughs> Not me. So this is what the new bowl is going to look like. Now TPI are hoping that this bowl will be available in June but by the 1st of July they are hoping that all new analyzer probes that come out are going to have the new bowl in with the analyzers. So now you know what you're doing wrong, you can ditch a human amateur tube and you can purchase one of these Trafix right angled flue gas analyzer probe adapters to be able to do your job correctly all you do is push it in there and this now will only draw the right air from the flue into your analyzer and not corrode it. Now if you're worried about these little right angled probes giving you the wrong readings, don't be. Now I've done loads of trials on these since Trapex has been designing them. And the only thing I can find difference between it being drawn through here or just being drawn through the end is the temperature, which is about between one and two degrees difference. But your actual CO, CO2 and your ratio 